Now let's get lively. Gather around, gather around. Let's sort the buyers from the spies, the needy from the greedy, and those who trust me from those who don't. Eddie Murphy, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. And you fight with nobody. That's the ball time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed time for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching along at home. This is the Eggplant Tornado podcast, the fight podcast with the common man. We're coming at you live over Zoom. I'm just doing a little bit of a post-recording intro step in here because uh, we had a little bit of problems with the audio at the start. So you'll see us sort of dropping in halfway through our conversation. As always, here with uh, Griff in the room. And we started off with a little bit of Believe It or Not. Got about halfway through that before we dropped into our coverage and fight companion of the Wood vs. Lara fight that happened a couple of hours ago. Um, after that, we step back in, cover a couple more news stories, which leads us into a preview for Paul vs. Fury next week. And then we finish the show with a little bit of That Sands My Bernie, as always. And as always, if you could head on over to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, and like and subscribe, follow, share, just anything, anything that'll help, that'll help us, us help you help enjoy you yourselves. yourselves. Alrighty, All right. into the show. Instead of Makachev tweeting stuff like tweeting at Hooker and just being like, oh, you know, like justice will be served, and then like saying shit like, oh, nobody ever, like, what was his big statement during the week? Like, it was relating to that, and then it was relating to him not being given the pound-for-pound status of like, oh, I was never given any justice, and none of us were ever given any recognition. It's like, motherfucker, like, your mentor was, was, and still is, in some people's eyes, considered the GOAT. Yeah. Well, you didn't like, earn the pound-for-pound spot. You didn't go beat Volk. Like, could it could have went either way. Exactly. So, yeah. It's the same concept as, like, it, it, the same concept goes both ways. To be the man, you got to beat the man. Yeah, and yeah, 100%. I read a thing yesterday as well. Um, apparently, there's been no formal complaint or anything lodged with the West Australian, like, sporting, whatever the fuck they would have to lodge it with. So, like, they're, at the moment, it's all just talk there hasn't it like they haven't gone far to try and even like lodge a complaint about it or anything yes yeah, so, so far it's just hooker coming out with a tweet and then other people like yeah that is weird yeah and i say anything yesterday i thought was pretty funny so, like you can't spell islam makachev without iv yeah <laughs> i didn't see that <laughs> that was i did see that um yeah i don't know they gotta obviously good. like look into that more and then we can't just be going off what Dan Hooker says. Yeah, so, that's it's hard to fucking... Because, like, it's a teammate of Volk as well, and it's also... He's lost to Islam as well. Yeah, he's also someone who Makachev has beaten, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Yeah, we just got to figure out what actually happened, because it's all just like, yeah, hearsay at the moment. Everything would have been fine if that Abdelaziz Khan didn't tweet what he did and then delete it that dude's a twat that guy's got yeah. something wrong with him 100 percent. but yeah i don't know that guy should just not exist and then like not as a manager he's like fucking always just in the news when he shouldn't be like he's a manager why are you always in the news and shit mm. fucking weirdo he just seems like a shady cunt man super shady like one of those people that you can just tell there's going to be like a Netflix documentary on in like 10 years of like, oh, and he fucked me over in this way. And then he fucking paid me off to say this and fucking. The Don King of this generation, you reckon? Legitimately. Yeah, well, there's been heaps of Actually, shit. Yeah. He's a pretty shady character if you go look into him. Yeah. It was like when Connor and Khabib fought, Connor was saying heaps of shit about him. And like most of it was true, though, too. Like... Yeah. That's when I first looked into him. I was like, Maybe we should do like a bonus deep dive or something into that kind of shit. Yeah, he's a bit of a shady character. I dive deep into him. Wait, what? But like then again, <laughs> then again, most most of the people who are promoters are like all, I suppose, some form of fucking 
shady character. Oh, I love Eddie to death. I guarantee you he's an absolute snake. Yeah, oh, you'd, yeah. you'd have to be to some degree. Yeah. A lot of them, it's like questionable where they got their money from. Like, you know, Eddie's got his just through his dad. Like, so that's where his business and shit's come from. But like, yeah, half of these cunts are the managers and shit. Where the fuck they come from? Mm-hmm. Like that dude that was involved in all the, who's that, that Daniel, Daniel Kinahan? Yeah, with Fury and all that. Yeah, like he was involved in heaps of fucking people's like careers. And then, yeah, all of a sudden just turns out to be like an international fucking terrorist. <laughs> That's right. Up. Whatever the fuck it was. Like he was wanted on some interesting fucking charges. Uh, how are we looking there? Are we walking yet? Uh, no, nah, they're close to walking. Old mates was just in the ring a second ago. Talking. Alrighty. Well. Not to we'll probably get some fucking anthems and shit anyway before we start. So yep. like, we'll just start calling it once the once the action starts happening. We'll move on to our next order of business here. Um, this has oh, progressed right. during the week. I can't remember whether we talked. No, 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 we did talk about this last week. Uh, I was just, just about to start walking, so it's fucking probably still with another ten. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, like we spoke about this last week, Griff, the fact that uh, Josh Taylor versus TFMO Lopez was a potential fight that they were looking at. Yeah. During the week, the WBO has actually ordered this to happen. I, I think so, it's a fun fight. Like, it's probably not the greatest fight for TFMO, but it's like a good test for him to see where he's at in his career. Well, it's funny because before he got beat by Cambosis, he was saying he was going to beat Cambosis and move up and challenge Josh Taylor for his undisputed titles. So we'll see if he still got it, as he said. Why does it just go to me? I didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like it just expected me to say something. Hey. <laughs> That's how good the fucking AI is. Just like, oh, Chris got something to say. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. There's crickets. Just like... um, Perfect. I've got the crickets here. I'm going to add that in. But uh, yeah, I feel like it's a good fight for him to see where he's at. See, yeah. It depends who turns up on the day. And Froome, you made yeah. a good point during the week as well of like, it depends how the weight cut affects Taylor because he's been talking about moving up since before the Catterall fight. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's an interesting fight. I, I still think it's good for TFMO to take. Because he's not like taking like, you know, a lower class fight like he did last time and still coming close to losing it. Like if he just goes and gets sparked by this dude, like it's like doesn't look great, but it's like you know he knows where he's at with his career then. Yeah, and he was fighting like an undisputed champion. Yeah, so he's not fighting some random fucking dude who like doesn't matter if he like does beat, but then if he goes and loses to that guy who Martin or something, like if he went and lost to Martin, it doesn't look good for Tiafimo. No, not at all. So, yeah, I feel like it's a good, good fight for TFMO to take. He might get fucking stomped, I don't know. Yeah, it just fucking really depends. Like, it, it just depends how he goes really against that top flight competition. Yeah. And that kind of leads us well into our next point. Uh, Edgar Belanga signs with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn. I'm not sure how long for or how many fights it's actually for, but He's done it, he said, during the week because he knows that it's the best way to lead him towards a Canelo fight. I've never heard of this person ever, to be fair. You would have, I'm sure you would have seen like one or two of his knockouts kind of thing. Um, had a decent like run, like at the like, you know, this like very like start of his career kind of thing was just blasting people out in the first like couple of rounds every single fight. And then I can't remember whether it was his last fight or the last two fights has been in like in there with some not great competition and looked a bit average. Yeah. Yeah, right. So interesting fight to keep an eye out for. Well, he hasn't got anything lined up yet, but it's just the fact that he signed with Matchroom, so potentially he can like he can maybe level up a little bit, fight some higher level of competition. Because that's the thing, he's like got good knockout power, but he's not actually very technically proficient. Okay, which is like a lot of the prospects you see kind of get tested, then get exposed a bit. Yeah. Okay. Wait. So he's a prospect working on his way to a Canelo fight? Yes. It's good to have goals and aspirations. 
the right place to be in, just a matter of what way Eddie moves him, I guess. Yeah. We've got Wood here, walking, looking good. Looking warmed up, which I like. Sorry. No, you're right. Like, there's not, there's, like I said, it's just a signing, so there's not too much else to say on that thing. But yeah, he is working in the right direction. He just needs to, like, I don't know, stop believing his own hype a little bit, which I think is probably a good move for him, kind of being going over here, probably fight some good mid level competition for a, a bit of time. Eddie's always good at building people like that up. Yeah, yeah, Eddie seems to do it pretty well. Yeah. Out of everyone that kind of builds prospects, Eddie does it. Mm hmm. The best, I'd say. But uh, we got Triple G vacating the IBF middleweight title. Interesting. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I, I kind of had the thought of like, he's late in his career. He just probably doesn't want the pressure of an organization like that telling him, oh, you've got to do this and you've got to do that. Yeah, he kind of shit. The fights that he wants to take. Exactly. And, and he's and earned it. Yeah. Like, um, and Zarafa doesn't bring no money in a fucking mandatory defense. Why the fuck would you want to fight Zarafa for? Exactly. I, I and he, flo- he fucking walks through Zarafa. Like, there's no point in him making the trip over here. Yeah, it'd be cool for us to be able to see Triple G in our country, but he doesn't have to do that, man. Especially against Zarafa. Like, fuck that dude. Mm. He, wouldn't get, he wouldn't get enough money for, <clears throat> like, this stage of his career. He's fucking got to be looking to hang him up soon. That's yeah, it, man. So. I thought he was going to hang it up after the Canelo fight. Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised that he didn't, to be honest. Mm. I expected him to. But I think Not that it was... Of... No, you go. Because outside of Canelo, I think he just about walks through anybody at middleweight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that was just like his last fight. I felt, thought it might have been. But then if he's still got more in him, fuck, who are we to doubt him? Fuck, he, yeah. There's still more money for him to be made at middleweight. There's decent competition there. There's a Charlo there. Yeah, and there's a few young, young ones sort of coming through there as well. Mm-hmm. It'll be probably, I don't know, twelve months, two years, but I don't know how long exactly he'll hang around for. Yeah, that's it, man. He's getting on. Yeah, I can't but know. but that's exactly it. Like he just doesn't. He has the right to take the fights that he wants. Now he's earned it. He's done everything. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent for the boxing community that he needs to do. And yeah, like you can't he, knock everything that he's done. No. And with the chin like that, why wouldn't you keep fighting? It's not like you're going to get knocked the fuck out by anyone and embarrassed. Yeah, the exactly, only issues man. you've really seen him face is body shots. But then, like, yeah. Canelo wasn't able to get to his body, so that's a good sign. Both fighters in the ring, apparently. So you got to imagine they're going to do a bit of shit. Um, well, let's touch on something that I didn't have in my notes, but it just clicked into my head now because we're speaking about Triple G. Fucking Gabe Rosado making oh. his return at light heavyweight against Gazzardo Ramirez. Is that the guy that Bivol beat recently? Yes. Okay. Have they fought before? No. Not that I know of. I, I love that for Gabe, though. Get, it, get in there. King. The man, the myth, the king. The absolute... Oh, just a fucking god amongst men. Gabe Rosado. I don't like that for Rosado. The king, the dog, the victim. I don't really like your attitude <laughs> towards that fight for him, if I'm being honest. Gabe's going to walk through him. I like the fight. I just don't know if I like it for Gabe. So I'm going to die in that cheeto. Gabe's the fucking... <laughs> Gotta get him out of there, mate. You know, Gabe's the best there is, best there was, best there ever be. Like, I mean, I know he was robbed in his last oh, performance. Brief, but... Disgustingly robbed. <laughs> <laughs> but at, uh, at the end of the day, I don't think it was the greatest performance out of Gabe. I don't know. You go back and watch the Triple G Gabe fight. <laughs> I had Gabe ahead, like on all the scorecards, pretty much up until like that disgusting stoppage. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like Gabe could probably go take on Fury if he wanted and come out on top. Oh fuck! No, nah, I, I don't like it either for Gabe. I feel like he's a bit too far in his career to take the damage he's going to take. Yeah, I don't know. It's... But at the same point in time, it's Gabe Rosado. He's gonna get in there and he's gonna get in there and make it a dog fight. Like Gabe, if you're listening, please come on and let us interview you before your brain is leaking out of your ears. Oh bro. In the I'm, next decade. It'd be the funnest fucking We love if... you. We love you one hundred percent. But just like what why are you doing this, man? 
Why are you doing this? Yeah. Why, why are you doing this to yourself? Just be careful in there. Okay? <clears throat> be careful in there, bud. Then again, Ramirez looked like absolute shit against Bivol, so... All right, we got... Gabe's, Gabe's going to be, like, small at that weight, right? Mm, I don't know. Um, then again, hang on, he has gone up, like, two weight classes. So we've got yeah. Wood taking his shirt off at the moment, so that's got to mean they're getting closer, right? Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. One more point. Yeah, yeah. One more point, because it's not yeah, too much. Uh, we shirt. got... Jay Apatea back in training after his uh, surgery, after breaking his jaw in two places. Um, Was that inspiring or in the fight? In the fight against Marius Breedis. Broke it in the second round and went 12 rounds. Yeah, right. Props. So looking to capture another cruiserweight title this year at some point in time. Get it? He's good for Australian boxing, hey? He's like He's fucking great and... for Australian boxing, man. I like that guy. Yeah. I mean... He does a long way at cruiserweight. Yeah, and I feel like, like I, he does. Uh, like I mentioned the other week, we're like, we're not related, but we're fucking, like, I know him by extension of like two bits of family. So, like, if you guys made out, it'd be time. weird. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. If you just like kissed a bit, it'd be strange. Like, you'd be sus on it. <laughs> All right, here we are facing off in the ring. Oh, getting time. Gotta get it up, Ned. All right, we'll, 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 uh, we'll call some fucking action now, shall we? Bro, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, Wood definitely looking more warmed up than his last fight against Conway, or whatever his name was. Conlon. Yeah, he just looked stiff in that first round and kind of awkward. And then he got fucking tagged. He's had a fight in between now and then. How did they do in that fight? Pretty sure he knocked the cunt out in two rounds. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <coughs> Not much going on here, really. Just... Uh, a bit of a, just a fucking feeling out process early in the first. Um, boys just having a sniff. Throwing jabs out, trying to... Oh, would go on for a big one too there, but Lara just Lara, fucking Lara. got out of the way. Nice, nice work. Oh, nearly a fucking head clash there. Mm. Wood with this nice jab to the body. I like it. Yeah, I like Wood. How Wood's starting off in this in this fight. Lara's just fucking kind of going to get his distance a bit. It's leaping jab from Lara. It's a bit of a cuddle. It's kind of like landing every time. Bit of a cuddle, nothing crazy. Oh, big up a couple of percent there by Lara. Big swing noting. So you can definitely see, like, yeah, Wood's going to try out boxing here, and Lara's going to go for swing oh, for the fences. Yeah, yeah Wood, like the little shots. previews before it said, like, in the subtitles in Spanish, Lara said, I'm, "This fight isn't going to the judges." I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Lara carries power the whole way, though. Oh, I like the shots Woods landing. That, that cross. They're both just beautiful. doing the same thing, just digging into each other's bodies in the clinch. It's good to see. Beautiful to see. So Woods landing good crosses. Keep an eye out for that. Hey. Lara's landing a, like that jab at will, though. Yeah. Pretty much any point that he wants to. Even when he lunges in, he can still land on it. Oh, nice. I've oh. got them by Wood and then still got on the defense. This round's really hard to call. Yeah, pretty close, though. Eh? Probably give it to... That was a good combo there by Lara. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of changed my opinion. Uh, I was in the dick a little bit, but, you know, He's sometimes you got to... Sometimes you got to... Just... dick twist. Sometimes you just got to go to the dick a bit. But Lara's just, like, making a, a dog fight when they're in close there, eh? Lara's got to be in close. He's that bit smaller. Yeah. I don't know. I was giving it to Wood till the end there. He's got a cut above his eyebrow, maybe. Yeah. Got a bit of a boo-boo. We'll see uh, See how bad that gets over the course of the fight. Yeah, it was a real interesting first round. That's kind of hard to call. Yeah, it's close. And considering we've got 30 seconds, this is only going to take 30 seconds. Did you guys see uh, Greg Hardy get absolutely flatlined in his bare knuckle debut? 
I wish. I hate that guy. Oh, dude, it was fucking hilarious. That's mad. He's like sort of like turns to the side and all mate just throws his massive overhand hook to catch him on the jaw and Greg Hardy just... Just give him the old good night. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, fuck, fuck Greg Hardy. Go back to football. Oh, no, head clash. Oh, clash of heads there. The cut's not in a bad spot. Above the eyebrow. <laughs> Nothing too crazy to worry about yet. Oh, it's a good jab there by Wood. Just wiping his, wiping his cricket ball on his pants. Hey, just giving it the old fucking, the old fast bowl. Oh, he didn't like that shot. How does that just bring him back cricket? <laughs> Lara already turning it up here in the oh. second round. Yeah, oh, Wood. Oh. Wood. See for a fucking scrap. It's like I said, I like that body jab that Wood's thrown. I like, yeah, I like the jab in general that Wood's sticking behind. Making it hard risk. for Lara to get inside. Oh, I was with the uppercut there on the inside from Lara. Yeah, Wood needs to keep it at his range. Wood digging into that two there, back of the head. Yeah, probably just pay attention to the fight there, champ. A dirty little fucking shove on the face there. Boys are fucking getting a little frustrated. Let's hope it doesn't spill out into the fight, boys. We want a good, clean fight here, you know? Here at the Wembley. The Gabba. I don't know where the fuck we are. We're in Nottingham. We'll just go with the Gabba. The ref doing a good job of letting him kind of box. Looks like uh, Bruce Buffer in fucking just went and fucking had a night off from commentating and is just refing. Sounds interesting. Tell me that doesn't look like Bruce Buffer. Oh, 100% it does. It is, yeah. Well, Wood tags him there. Yeah, Wood's showing good power. And Lara just seems to be going for more power shots. Oh, oh that up oh. hook there was beautiful. They're just trading shots, which is good to see. Mm. But Lara just seems to be throwing power shots, really. Oh, that was a good hook he caught him with. Yeah, yeah that tight little inside hook there. Have a Lara tags what he's holding on. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely not liking the power. No. Yeah, you can see him react every time, whereas Lara will just eat a few shots to land some. You see Wood react every oh, single time. Oh, good body shots from Lara. Yeah. yeah. Back of the head. Oh. oh. Yeah, oh. that one. That yeah, one hurt. So Lara just landed a beautiful check hook to the body. We're, we're doing well, not really. Oh my, he's oh. he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh. So yep. Lara just caught Wood right. clean on the chin. The right. Oh, Wood's holding on for dear life here. You don't know. The ref might take a point soon if he keeps doing that. Pushing on his he's face. He's him shit. twice already in this round. Wood throwing back, landing good shot, but now he's just eating. Oh my yeah. god, Lara's Lara showing no technique. Swinging for the fences. Showing no technique, but landing still. So. And the... um. <clears throat> Gonna make it out of the round, bit of push and shove. Lara pretty happy with himself. Yeah, I was listening to an interview with Eddie Hearn through the week as well, and he said that Wood was the one who called for this fight. Yeah, like, right. When Eddie picked up the phone and like called Lara's team, they were like, Are you fucking serious? Like he actually wants to fight us. He's crazy, man. And I think we're seeing why Lara said that through that second round there. Yeah, well, anytime he kind of hits Wood, Wood was like, Ooh. Unlike it. The wood was not looking great. No. No. Beautiful scenes down here at the Gabba. The English Gabba. He's thrown 62 power punches. Yeah, every shot. Does he have a good gas tank, uh, Lara? I'm not sure. It'd be interesting to see if, like, you know, Wood can survive these early I rounds. I only ever watched highlights of his fight against, um... Wood looks alright. His legs look with him. Who did he fight? Warrington, was it? Yeah, Warrington, like, twice or three times. Early into round three here. Uh, yeah, Wood looks like he's kind of recovered from being rocked last round. He's keeping his fucking hand up next to his face, though. Yeah. Definitely a good idea. Taking his time. The percentages were interesting before, though, because Wood's only thrown like 26 punches, but he's landed 
like half of them, whereas Lara's thrown like sixty something and only landed like twenty something. Yeah, Lara's have been way more eye catching. Yeah, Lara's kind of back to this. But it's a lot of wasted energy. Yeah, he seems like he's having a bit of a rest at the start of this round. He's done. He's kind of just essentially waiting. nothing for a minute. Did he step weird on his ankle then, or something? Yeah, something strange happened. He's standing strange. I think he stepped back like into the rope. No, it looks like he's putting weight on his front foot weird, as opposed to what he was before. Yeah, like he's like hard to put weight on it. Oh, yeah. And he's just getting caught with shots now. Something strange definitely happened with his front foot, his left leg. He kind of spun around on it weird after the last round. Yeah, see that? He it's seems like all right it's... now. He's, he's moving around a bit on it, but it's definitely yeah, something up. Something I'm just standing there. I'm just sitting here, like, trying to stare at his front foot when it's, like, on the screen. And it, like, his ankle, like, rolled over them when he threw that jab. He's got legs. That could be a fucking problem, man. It could be. And it seems like, front... oh, it seems like you're your... front of nose. Exactly that. If you don't have your front foot, you can't jerk yourself back to get out of the way of that cross. Yeah, it looks and like his leg's not there, right? Eh? Does have a mean shot on him. Well, yeah, Wood seems to know that something's up and he's like throwing just Pushing that. the action a little bit, yeah. There's something wrong, man. Yeah, something's a bit, something's astray. So if anyone you know, watching ahead at home, uh, Lara seems to have taken like a weird step on his left leg and doesn't seem to have his leg with him anymore. I don't know, he goes through weird stages, like it'll be all right and then he'll like step on it like that. You can just tell something's like strange. It's just like, like, I don't know. I'm staring at it now and it's like, he's not planning it properly. And when he plants it, sometimes it's like, he takes double step as if you would, as if you were like half limping and like, ah, like, he like rolled something it, gives you a jolt of pain. Yeah. Yeah. To me, like something happened when he was like stepping past the ropes at the start of this round. I don't know if something happened at the end, but you could tell that's when I first noticed something was. Because he was Different. piecing him up the last minute of the second round. So why would you come out and just not? I thought he was just resting action. a bit. And then when I seen him step past the ropes, I was like, oh, maybe something's up. Wood, Wood definitely came out more aggressive that round, which he needs yeah. to do. Work behind his one, two. When he's throwing that, oh, man, Ooh. it's landing nice. Eh? Lara's got a chin on him, man. That was a good shot. It was. But yeah, he landed a lot more in this round. Yeah, but still reacts. And he, like Lara threw back then in the when they were close, and you see Wood straight away didn't like it. He's like, yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, Daddy, not there. That's what. So Lara thinking. definitely still has the power to get him out if he wants to. Yeah, I feel like anytime Lara hits him, he reacts. I'm just being interested to see how he keeps moving the rest of this fight. Yeah, I'm interested to see what's going on with that front foot. He seems like better on it at the end of the round there. He's sitting there putting weight on it now. He seems fine. Yeah, but see, in my head, if my leg was sore, I'd be trying to put weight on it to like stretch it out and try and... Yeah, but like he was like putting his like whole body weight on it then it didn't seem like he was like wincing in pain or anything. Yeah, he seems, seems all right again. Seemed a little bit better. Yeah, he's moving again. Oh, Maybe he did Wood just, just take got that round hard then by Lara. Yeah, Lara's back to just throwing power shots again. He's got he's got a uh, Wood biting on the um shots now as well. Wood's got to keep that fucking hand like glued to his chin, eh? Yeah. Even that, I I get nervous with Wood how low his left hand is. Lara's fucking throwing heat with that right man. It was a good little fucking combo to break it up there. What's fight so far? <laughs> I'm still skeptical about this man. He's had a flurry there, but now he's stopped moving again. I'll just have to see how it plays out. I don't know, he seems like he he's stepped. Away he went to throw him. a right hook, and he stepped weird on his left leg, and then like no, lost his balance back, a little bit and stopped. Back to the ring and seems like back to the center ring and seems fine though. Yeah, might have, oh, he might have been rocked because he got hit with like a couple of clean crosses in that last round. Could have been, yeah. And he, he's getting hit again oh. with a few more. So yeah, he might have literally just got rocked from 
one of Wood shots because he seems yeah good again. It's a good check hook there from Wood. Beautiful. It's caught him twice with it now. So yeah, Wood's best weapon check hook and then the one two straight down the middle. Seems to yeah, be working pretty much he every needs time. To catch him. He needs to be like slipping out of the way of that fucking jab and catching him with the cross when he comes in because Lara has this like leaping jab to try and compensate for the range difference. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he's lunging a bit of hay. See, I'm real skeptical of this, man. I don't know whether he's, like, there's a multitude of things that could have happened here. He could have thrown too many punches and he's gassed himself out. There could be something wrong with his leg. Or like you said, he could have just been rocked by some of these fucking shots. Yeah. Yeah, well, he was throwing a lot of shots earlier in that. Um... Oh, Wood just landed a beautiful check hook then. Seemed to have I mean. a bit. Wood's being really conservative with his shots. He's landing a lot of the shots that he's throwing, whereas Lara's swinging for the fences at some point in time and not getting it. Yeah. Oh, he's starting to, yeah, time that um jab and dig to the body now. That was beautiful mm-hmm. by Wood. Kind of like a slip to an uppercut to the body. I'd really say this is like two rounds apiece, to be honest. Yeah, I've got it real close. Oh, that was good work there. Yeah, Wood's got a... I like Wood when he's keeping his distance like this. I don't like when he gets in close because Lara just fucking cracks when they're in close. He's walking weird. Maybe he did a bit of angle know. last night. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm pretty fucking set on this. I reckon something's wrong with his leg. Yeah, it definitely looks... Oh. That was a good shot. I'm trying to see what's up his nose. He's like, what have you been sniffing? You've been sniffing paint. Oh. oh. And then slips under. Bro, right, this is a fucking... This is everything this is we fight. expected it to be. Hey? Oh, Lara's got a chin, dude. He doesn't even take a step back after that check hook. That's that Mexican style, man. Bro, just looks at him like, you're nice. Not bad. That was the softest slap I've ever seen by his coach. Yeah, it's just... I brushed his face. <laughs> Doing very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, we're in round five here. Fun fight so far. Um, ten seconds into round five. Yeah, we're It'll be really interesting to see where this goes from here. Yeah, so Woods just got to keep it at his distance. Really, that's when he's playing cracking with that cross. I don't agree with Health that frog. scorecard. Probably just got a fucking. Not I'd say it's two and two. Yeah, I got it even. I feel like even then, one you... of the rounds could have went either way. Yeah. So you could give it to Wood, but like. Yeah. Make it like a. Yeah, just even. I'd say it's pretty close. I'm just interested to see in the post fight and see what they say. Because there's definitely something off about Lara. Whether he doesn't like the power or not, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to tell. He fucking got cracked with some big shots, so it's hard to tell if he's like, was a bit rocked. Because, like, yeah, since then he seems to be moving around well. Like, because Lara's not huge for this weight either. Nah. No, he seems to. Like the it size difference in between though. Wooden Conlon wasn't much, whereas the size difference in between these two seems a bit more substantial. He didn't like that. Yeah, that fucking hurt him. He did not Ooh. like that. Good work to the body here from Wood. That was a right hand to the back of the body too. To the spleen, man. That yeah. shit hurts. Oh. Lara's starting to slow down a bit and Wood's kind of like timing his shots and moving out of the way. Oh, as soon as Lara lands, though, you see the difference in the shots, hey? He landed that one yeah. uppercut, and you see Wood, like, what? Yeah, but I think Wood needs to keep going to the body. Yeah, that... Seems to be his weakness. That right hand to the body, you seen Lara, he was like, oh, goddamn, son. Not it having... seems to be his strategy. He's coming in with that, like, he's just sort of pouring at him with a jab, and then he'll go low, and then make him think he's going to go low with that jab and come up at the top of the cross. Yeah. Pat him on the back. Doing well in here. Just giving him the old fucking kidney punch. You're doing really well in here. Oh, nice. 
both yeah. guys exchanging hooks there in, in close. I'd say. We're just starting to get some good timing. Oh, and stuff. oh my God. Wood landing some good shots here. But like you said, Lara's throwing back every time. I don't know what Lara's shin's made out of. Obviously, the same as whatever the last guy's shin was made out of, but far out. He's getting cracked. But as soon as he starts landing, man, you see Wood, he's just like, no, sir. Please, may I not have any more? <laughs> Please do not do that to me. Yeah. That's you a, are hurting my brain. All that stuff you're doing is a lot right now, don't you think? Yeah. See all that shit you're doing? Could you just not do that? Yeah. To my face? Even just for a little bit. As soon as he lands, would just like freezes. Yeah. Oh, that was rough. Oh, he's like right in the hip. Kind of like half in the hip, half in the kidney. Oh, yeah, he pointed at his shorts. I thought he pointed at his body like that was good. He was just pointing low like, you yeah, you got me a bit low. Oh, as soon as Lara lands, you just see the difference in the, um, in the in tower. The shots. But Wood's landing more at a better percentage. I'd say Wood's got like the better gas He's winning this fight. Bruce, get him out he of there. He won that round. It's Bruce, three to two. Get him out of there. Fucking delaying and the time is going and shit. We've just lost fucking ten seconds of a round. It's just fucking Lara's going as fuck ass and around. Because Lara's tired, man. Yeah, well fucking somebody should spank him. He's throwing a bunch of unnecessary shots. Yeah, that he gassed himself in that second day. Eh? Hasn't been the same since then, and then come out a bit queer footed and got rocked with a few shots. Mm-hmm. Oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Lara straight down the middle was a good job. Yeah. And he does have a good job when he lands it, but he's gone away from it since those first two rounds. Good cross there by Wood. Yeah, that was nice by Wood. Wood's using a tower shot as well, like his shot selection. That body jab is going to be the difference. Mm. Starting to use his reach better. He's just landing it at will every time. Well, we've seen it's Wood a have like shot. tower late as well. He finished Conlon in the 12th after being dropped early. Oh, oh that was he's... a good shot. Yeah, he hurt him then. See, look at this percentage. You see, Wood doesn't get like too frantic when he does hurt him either. He just sticks to his game plan. I like that. Wood's out boxing him, man. Yeah. Which is, yeah, like like you made the point in that second round for him. This is like why they think Lara took the fight, but maybe this is why Wood wanted the fight. I feel like we could drag him into deep waters and fucking drown him. Yeah, I feel like Wood's just a bit of a slow starter. Once he gets going. Like, you usually see, like, him kind of control the fight. He's worked out his timing. Lara's hurt right now, man. Yeah, he hurt him with that. He's not throwing Gross. anything. He's waiting. He needs to jump on him, though. Oh, oh got him again. Cross. That cross is so sharp, man. And then check hook there, too, as well. A little fucking hook cross. Oh, every time. Wood's man. just working out his timing now. Yeah, he's just landing a wheel now. This is bad for Lara. Wood needs to keep this pace up so that Lara doesn't really get a chance to recover because if he recovers and goes on another flurry and catches him, it could be over. I feel like every time Lara kind of sets, Wood just cracks him with a shot. Yep. So he's like kind of hard, finding it hard to get into his rhythm. Yeah, Lara has like, he, I think he's still got the same pop on his shots, Ooh, but he's beautiful. slowed down a lot. Yeah. See, his team's probably caught out 30 seconds in the round, so now he's just going for a flurry to try and win it back. Yeah. He's trying to, he's trying to get Wood to, like, overcommit as well. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Which Wood's not doing. He called it pretty much a little bit then for him. As soon as he overcommits, then Lara throws, but Wood, it, like, hasn't really... Like, he hasn't committed to anything he hasn't needed to this round. Yeah. It's 4-2 to two in my ass. Yeah, fuck yeah, this is a fucking, this is everything I thought it was going to be, hey. Mm -hmm. I expect it to be a fun fight. Uh, to the 13 people watching along with us, um, we're in the main we event. 13 people watching? I don't know if that's the 13 people that have clicked in or what, but what round was that? Was that six? That was the sixth round. Oh, that was a good yeah. liver shot there. So going into the seventh round here at the moment, uh, Ned and Griff would both have. Wood ahead? What do you reckon for him? Have Wood ahead at the moment? Yeah, Wood's 
Wood's starting to gain control of the fight now. Yeah. Ilara started off strong, but then Ned reckons something might have happened to his foot. My suspicion is that he got he was like a bit rocked, maybe. So have to kind of Yeah, like I'm still happening. I'm still saying something's different with his foot, but definitely the combination of him going all out in the second round to try and get Wood out of there and then getting rocked in the third has yeah. definitely He's actually up made in time a bit of a difference this round. I've actually got boxing a, before 10 seconds in. Trying to hype the crowd up and all. He was waving his arms around. And... So Kyle Fox got a fucking what? Five rounds to one. See what I mean? Th- this is why I keep saying there's something wrong with his foot because the way that he like threw that hook then and then like sort of bounced on his foot, half went south, poor, and then moved back into position. Maybe he's got a bit of gout. What is he doing? He's dancing now. I can just have a little fucking hey, uh, hey, uh, doing a bit of a Mexican jig. Yeah. Himself out of the corner, but somehow. You know that we're the only country that still calls the wave the Mexican wave. Really? We're the only people that still call it the Mexican wave. Everyone else just calls it the wave. Why do we do that? I don't know. <laughs> I seen it the other day. I read, read something about it. I was like, that's a fucking fun fact. That's heaps good. Um. Yeah, a little fun fact with the boys here. Two minutes left around seven. Yeah, Wood's Lara still... just looks a bit strange, hey? Like, he just looks a bit off. I think he's just tired, man. He's just, he's throwing and not connecting mm. a lot. Yeah, whereas Wood's, like, picking his shots well. And it takes so much more energy to throw a shot that doesn't connect. Yeah. Yeah, you get that strain if you're not landing. Yeah. Would just like, yeah, doing well to kind of keep his distance. As I say that, they go into a clinch. Yeah, he needs to not get involved in that. Because that's what Lara's looking for. He's trying to get in the clinch and try and catch him coming out or something. Lara's like best shots are going to be like with his lead hand so far, hey? Yeah, 100%. Little lunging like hooks and jabs. Ooh, oh, good beautiful uppercut, uppercut there. there by Lara. Got, got Wood's attention. That's a dang show. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful by Good Wood. combination there by Wood. I like, yeah, I this like Wood sort of going back to the body. Yeah, this is a much closer round. Lara That's what I've said the whole time, man. It's going to be the difference. Yeah. Lara tagged him then with an uppercut. Yeah, Lara can still carry power into these later rounds, so Wood's got to be careful. He can't get too far ahead of himself. Oh, yep. Yeah, like, and that lunge on him. Got cracked. Got cracked. Good out. Oh, oh, Wood's out. Wood is out. No, no, and he's getting back on. Oh, no. That was hard. No, he's, he's fucked. Fucking out on his feet. It's he could make left. it out of this round, 12. maybe. Ten seconds left. He is toast. Towels in the towel. What? Yeah. Why did they do that? I I like that coach. He was about to get slept. Yeah, I like that coach, man. Like I like his decision there, but him as okay. coach, I like. Yeah, he still can't stand up. <laughs> Um, so Lara just got it done at the end there. Late seventh? Wow. Is it going off at? I don't know. They're into it, though. Now people are throwing bottles and shit. What is happening right now? He's like, hey, calm down. I'm going to make Kana. I don't know. And this is old mate with a fucking so. sombrero. It's not a sombrero, the hat. Sombrero. Yeah. Put, put your hat on. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're trying to find someone in the crowd. What's happening right now? I don't know. But like, yeah, you yeah. see the coach. Put my like... fucking headphone in. Mike Alexander asked the Mexican captain just quell the celebrations at this stage. Trying to get over towards Lee Wood. Wood got cracked, man. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, I feel like he's just celebrating a bit hard and they're just like, not about it because he's Mexican. I'd say a little bit of racism. Maybe that's what's happening in the ring right here, Ned. No, I think he went to go off at someone outside of the ring. Yeah. Yeah, you he definitely seen him stepping standing. outside of the ring and they moved him in. Yeah, just then he was trying to go over and see if like, Wood was all right, I think, but everyone got in the way. What a shot. I, I want him to go to a replay already. That was a big fucking big shot, man. Wood just stiffened up straight away, hey? Booze. Big left, mate. Done. Oh, you you got the replay? I fucking still don't have replay. Fuck, sure. Yeah, he's still not walking right. 
No. Yeah, I, I, that was a good call. I trust that coach. It's like opinion. He's a good. He's coach. not the best technical coach in a sense. Like you know, he's had a fair couple of losses with some of his fighters, but in that sense, yeah, he does know his fighter quite well. Yeah. Like Alrighty. you see, would turn around like, oh what? It's like, man, you're still fucking out on your feet, dude. That's just boxing for you, man. Like, one shot changes the fight. One shot, shot changes fucking everything. That was a fucking big old shot. Alrighty. Well, considering we don't really have to sit around to see what's going to happen with that, I don't actually know who's in contention for Because like I said, I'm pretty... I don't know whether that was a mandatory, voluntary, or anything like that. So oh, they were called for it. And you would probably assume there's maybe a rematch clause in there or something like that. Oh, right, the replay, Possibly. finally. So maybe we'll touch on that next week and see how that pans out. But what? who's oh. Lara going off at there at the end anyway? Like, yeah, I'd like to find out. Who's stiffened him, eh? Yeah. Right on the chin. Pink. You could tell he was like as soon as he hit the ground, he was done. Yeah, hundred percent. He was stiff as. Notice like, anytime head, Wood like, gets dropped, he stiffens up. Regardless, like even in when he versus Conway, when he got up, he was still like stiff like oh, this. I, I don't care. Conway, <laughs> Conway, doesn't matter to me. Um, but yeah, Wood just goes stiff. But he got up like in the other one, the same type of thing, and survived. I don't think he was going to survive the last ten seconds of this. You are right though. He does. Stiffen up every time he gets fucking hit, which is strange. Dude, his legs are so stiff, but his upper body's trying to get up. He's like, nah, nah, I'll get, I'll get up. It'll be fine. But yeah, he still wasn't walking like a good fucking. I would have, I would have let him try to survive for that. ten seconds. Mm, I don't think it was going to get any better. Alrighty, well, moving on with proceedings here then. Uh, did you guys see John Jones tweeting during the week at uh, Daniel Cormier saying that he's welcome to commentate his fight? Yeah, I mean, I don't know who yeah. John Jones thinks he is saying who can do what in the UFC, but, you know, good on him, I guess. I think he was just making the point of, like, he doesn't have any hard feelings about it. Yeah. Yeah. The I, funny... I did you see Cormier's response video, though? No. The, that's what made it worse, is the fact that, like, yeah, if he just didn't say anything... It would have looked like Jones was a bit of a fuckwit for saying what he did. But then Cormier comes out with his five minute response video. Oh, really? And you can tell the whole time it's like, oh, you're still butthurt over everything that he did to you. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, 100%, man. He just destroyed him mentally and physically. Yeah, just ruined his life. But, I mean, yeah. I don't know who, like, Jones thinks he's like, oh, you can commentate my fights. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can. Oh, Woods crying. Emotional scenes here in the ring. He was fucking winning that fight, man. It's fucking sucks for him. Yeah, it does. But like you know, he got complacent just for that split second, and fucking. It's what happens, man. Lara's gonna give Lara him a sombrero. Like... What a man. Lara hits like, like a fucking that. truck. So. Would you put this on, please? Thank you. Yeah, what are you saying, Dad? No, I just said Lara hits like a fucking truck. So he does fucking. At all points in time. You can never fucking count him out, and that's just boxing. But yeah, like, who, who the fuck is John Jones to say that? Oh, you can do this. It's his job. Yeah, yeah, that's what he gonna does. Gonna do it for a job. Like, I don't think especially because, like, do, do you think the UFC are not gonna put Daniel Cormier in your fight? Yeah, like that's just too good of a marketing opportunity. Yeah, it's gonna be Rogan Cormier, whoever the fuck else. Annie, the third. Yeah, Annie. Hundred percent. Um, moving on to Izzy. Izzy was talking last week and gives a timeline on his retirement. Yeah, he's got a couple of fights left, I could imagine. Yeah, reckons he won't be fighting in five years, which is yeah. still a relatively long period of time. He's like 32, isn't he? Yeah, it'd be about that. Yeah, so that's like a, you know. Five years is good enough. 30 yeah, exactly. He's already been there five years. Yeah, I reckon five years is fair. Like, he plus he had like a hundred fights before being in the UFC. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah, it's not like he's just come into the UFC and only had those fucking those fights. He was kickboxing for years before it. Yeah, bit of boxing as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's done a bit of everything. So it just kind of like 
I don't know, the, the way that news sources were reporting it was like, oh, this is happening immediately. It's like, no, he said it's going to happen in five years, which is, you know, 10 years in the UFC is generally a pretty long career. Yeah. Especially at the top of the game. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. Being champ, like a good percentage of the time. Yeah, exactly. Fuck yeah. Good sauce, good sauce. All righty. And, uh... Our last bit of news here, which will lead us into a breakdown for the fight that's happening next weekend. So, <laughs> the WBC is going to rank the winner of Fury versus Paul. Yeah, I feel like that's fair enough. As long as they're not ranked high, like, you know, give them a ranking, let them fucking like, move like, up in, top, the, in the fight. Top 20 or what? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what are they going to, I don't know how their boxing rankings were. Give them like top 15. No, nah, top see where they fit 50, them. you would say. Nah, I mean, they put them in there. Put them in the mix. See how they go against a fucking actual boxer. Mm, maybe. I don't know where they're going to fit, actually. Maybe, like, top 30, top 20, some shit like that. I mean, like, top 20. You could give it. Just put them at 20. There you Cruiserweight's go. not a massively deep division. No. Nah. No, you don't hear much happening in Cruiserweight, like Jai Opsai or whatever his name is. Mm-hmm. That's like and the only got... real name you hear at Cruiserweight, I reckon. Isn't there a Cruiserweight fight today? No, there's the Cruiserweight fight on Cruiserweight. WBC Cruiserweight title fight is the co-main for the Paul Fury fight. That's right. Makabu versus Bodu Jack. That's right. That makes sense. So... Yeah, so you, you assume Suleiman's going to be there. He will immediately announce afterwards that he's going to suck Jake Paul's dick. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a fucking bit of a feast, do you reckon? Oh, fucking hell! There's not going to be a fucking belt for this, is there? I don't know. There'll be some type of belt. Every fight that you ever see, there's a belt. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, fair enough. Give some people a belt, but not just like, oh, these guys are just fighting. They're yeah, the first fight of the night. We'll give them, like, I don't know, we'll just give them this belt. It's only like, silver. They'll already be fighting for like a WBC title. Then he just makes another another WBC title that's just like just for that night that they would also pay a fee for. Everyone that yeah. fights Jake should fight for whatever that MVP belt is because I think it's dope. <laughs> if I was, if I was going to fight Jake Paul, I'd, that's all I'd ask for. I'd be like, yeah, I want to fight for that belt. Mm. Yeah, I'm, gonna, be long time. I'm gonna take that fucking belt, and that's it. Maybe, maybe a meal, a meal and the belt. Mm. I'd be happy to take that on. Burger, but yeah, make sure Fury's not in the crowd. Eh? How do you guys reckon the fight itself is actually going to go? I see Jake yeah. winning. Um, I see him getting a knockout. To be honest, Max man, he hits pretty hard. Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell because we haven't really seen Fury in there with anyone. That you can kind of compare it to. It's like you made the point during the week of like, what, what's his fucking record? It's some combined bullshit of like a hundred and fucking like, I don't know how many losses his opponents have, but it's like over 200 or something. I swear it was like close to 500. There's fucking some ridiculous number like that. Like seven wins or something. So yeah, it's hard to really like be like, oh, you know, but it's hard to, at the same point in time to be like, how's Jake going to do? Because he's fighting someone that's actually just trained in boxing. I feel like Jake gets it done. It's kind of hard to really give like a much of a breakdown of them two though. Because it's like we haven't seen enough boxing. Like we've seen Jake fight MMA guys, which is like a different, a different thing. Yeah, that's it. MMA striking, even though... Like, as much as you can train yourself in boxing, you still have those tendencies. Yeah. yeah kind of definitely. thing. Whereas, yeah, to go against somebody who's purely just trained with their hands for their entire life is going to be a bit of a different story. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know, you watch Tommy on the pads and that. He's not great, but he's not bad. I'd say probably like <laughs> yeah. has maybe more technique than Jake, but Jake's like probably cracks harder. Yeah, I'd probably say that too. I reckon it's going to be like a thing of like, you know, can Tommy just outbox him? Or will Jake just get in there and crack him early? 
It just depends whether Tommy decides to take it serious or not. Because he needs to. Well, he's actually showed up in wherever the fight is, so that's a fucking start. <laughs> yeah, that that's definitely a start of taking it serious. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck, he didn't go to the press conferences and shit. It was weird. He never does that shit, though. Yeah, well, you know, you're not your brother. You've got to kind of you can understand shit. to a slight degree because he sort of just had a kid, so he's probably behind in his training, but I don't know. Yeah, you still need to be part of that process. Yeah, don't take but, fights if you're not ready for a fight, you know what I mean? But at least he's there. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah, so the fight's going to go ahead, which will, like, you know, we didn't know if it was or not. Mm-hmm. The fight's actually going to go ahead, so that's a fucking start. Where the fuck's happening again? Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And they're like, right. apparently he's already over there. And then we've got... What's, what's this fucking, like, thing that Floyd Mayweather has of, like, constantly trying to schedule his fights on the same date as, like, other people's? Because he's fighting next weekend as well. I don't pay attention to his shit show anymore. Yeah, he's fighting that, like, ex Geordie Shaw star that was in Bellator or whatever. I hope it goes terribly for both of them. I hope they. I hope it just flops. There's, like, three people in the crowd watching. Yeah. And, it ends and then Floyd fucking, just gets KO'd. Ends in a double fucking herpes testing. <laughs> Fuck both of them. I'm sick of, like, Floyd just wasting our fucking time. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Just stop. Yeah. Check yourself. Or you wreck yourself. Like, you understand you can just, like, save money, right? You don't need to spend it all and then waste everybody's time with exhibitions. Yeah, I, just, I don't think I'm too big on the ex- exhibition fights. I think that's my problem. Seems like a bit of a grift problem, but, like, it should be more of a everyone problem. No, they just get real old real fucking fast. Yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't care less about them whatsoever. No. Anymore. I care more about the Misfits boxing at the moment. These fucking exhibition fights. Even then, no, those cunts can go fuck themselves. Yeah, I don't like this whole tag team thing. That's, that's no. a joke. Yeah, that is a fucking joke. But yeah, I think I'm kind of under the same impression as you. How long is this fight? Is it 10 rounds? Probably eight, you can imagine. I think Jake usually fights eight rounds. But it's a professional fight. Yeah, but they're not like championship caliber. By any means, yeah, I don't feel. Yeah, that's also true. I-, I can imagine it'll be eight. Yeah, you would assume so. Any rounds you reckon it'll be for him? Cool. Yeah, probably about eight. I don't think it'll be ten or anything. No, I no, couldn't see it being ten. And how do you see it going anyway for him? I'd probably give the edge to Jake, to be honest. Yeah. But go either way, really. Hmm. Tommy hasn't really fought that great of opposition. No, yeah, he doesn't really. It's hard to kind of like break it down. I was saying for him, just because there's nothing really there of either of them boxing boxes. Yeah, fucking. Oh, I'm gonna fucking have to hit it and clean some shit. I'm gonna get in trouble soon. Alrighty, brother. <laughs> no worries, buddy. We're only gonna hit the last segment and then fucking dip out anyway. So, all right, boys. I'll chat to you soon. All right, nice nice see you tomorrow, bud. Have a good day. Yeah, Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> That rolls us into that sands my Bernie for the week. Mm. And what is sand in our Bernie Griff? Why don't you fucking let the people know? I did have something in mind, but I fucking I've lost it since then. Something about Eddie just raw dogging us. It was. I don't like to shit on Eddie too much because I mean he's doing he's doing good things other than shitting on us in Australia, getting his own cards. But I feel like it's something to do with like Matchroom. Who else is on Matchroom? I know he. It's a big part of it, but what? who else runs that shit? What do you mean? Like, is Matchroom just Eddie Hearn? Yes. So what's the- Matchroom signed to the zone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know, because it just seems when it's like a Matchroom card, we won't get it over here. But say if it's a zone card, that's when we do. But that was it. a zone card. It was a zone card everywhere else. I think it just has something to do with like who has broadcasting rights. Well, it's an so it was probably like Lara had broadcasting rights over here and Lara's not with the zone. So that's the way it went. Well, it was an outrage because what? We just don't deserve fucking mad fights? Because it was, Cause it, was so far. It, it was a design broadcast. Yeah. Well, they can suck my butthole. That's what fucking stands my Bernie. 
not getting fucking good cards, and then you got to get a fucking. I don't get any subscriptions, but Ned's got to get another fucking subscription, and then I got to fucking put in another fucking email address and password. It's an outrage, really. <laughs> I don't know how you manage, honestly, oh, bro. Like, but from like watching the fights for the first time on KO today, it seems like a pretty good service. Yeah, it is. Like it runs well. You're not getting like dropouts. We had to like, if say one of us were like switching between the phone and the TV or something, you'd have like a delay, but then you just pause it, match back up. But overall, only thing that shits me about it is no picture in picture. I feel like there's picture in picture on computer. Okay. But I didn't look into it on my phone. I just full screened it and had it there. Yeah. But I feel like there was one. But especially with the price of the zone increasing, like stop locking us out of these fights. Yeah, I shouldn't have to go and get another subscription service just to fucking like just to cover that fight. Yeah, Yeah, it seems it's strange, though. I don't know. I don't know what the the method. And I understand for pay per view as well, but it's a fucking free day fight. Like, yeah, yeah, if people like want to watch it on Fox Sports, watch it on Fox Sports. People want to watch it on the Zone, watch it on the Zone. Like, why the fuck can't it just go everywhere? Yeah, just watch it wherever makes you happy to watch it. Really, that's it. Um. Yeah, it kind of just tickles it tickles my bony a little bit, you know? It doesn't really sand it. kind of just tickles it for now. <laughs> Slightly grazes it. Yeah, I got like a bit of chafe. Doesn't sand it all the way back. I'm just like chafed. It's chafed my bony. Just a bit of like low grip paper, not like a fucking, like a grinding disc or anything. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Just like a bit of uncomfort. Like it's not comfy to just even sit here right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good I'll tell, you I'll tell you what's fucking uncomfortable, Griff. Mm. Sitting at 99 subscribers on YouTube. Well, like, it's even more uncomfortable that we hit 100. And then and then it went down. And then it went down. So, like, not even YouTube, Ned, but, like, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Spotify, Apple. YouTube's, like, our main thing that we put, like, probably the most time into. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, get behind it. Like, subscribe, share. Just do whatever you can do to get behind us on the platforms. It helps us help you enjoy yourselves. Now, at the end of the day, that's what we want most. We want you to enjoy yourselves. We do. We also want you to. <laughs> we want you to just refrain from getting your dick in a twist at any chance you can. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll probably be back midweek or something. You know it. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of veggie in. Probably, probably get a bit of fucking of, everything. Probably just toast something up. Um, yeah, do us a favor. Get behind it. Get behind us. It helps us help you. Yeah. Peace. See you next time. Kisses. Mm. Mm. <laughs>